I'm Jean-Marc Bouchu with Engineer. Um, we, uh, we would like to talk about the project we had with uh, Jérôme Dreitberg, who is next to me. So Jérôme, uh, met Jérôme here at NAB two years ago. He was looking for some nice glass for his uh, red camera uh, for going to the Amazon, uh, shooting uh, some uh, wildlife and uh, documentary about the deforestation in Peru. So his idea was to go uh, very light, uh, very fast, uh, shooting in a very tough environment. Uh, so he wanted a lens that can really sustain a very humid and warm uh, area. And to... also he wanted just uh, to have a perfect quality and the perfect pictures on, on his camera. So we, we talked for several months and uh, at the end we went to uh, select uh, two uh, very compact lenses for him, the 16-40 and the 30-76, so that covers a wide range of focal lengths. Plus, uh, we added a two-time extender on this package. So uh, I would like to give the microphone now to uh, Jerome, who can explain a little bit more about this project and how he worked uh, when he was there down in the Peru uh, with a lot of uh, constraint on uh, uh, humidity, uh, dust, and uh, very warm uh, area. Hi, thank you, Jean-Marc. So my name is Jerome, and I'm the director of this movie, The Rainforest are Under the Threat. So I said, Jean-Marc, um, I use um, two lenses, the Optimus style 640 and 3076, and very important, the extender. So we stay uh, two, almost two months in the, in the rainforest in the Peru. And my goal is to, was to show the, the problem of the deforestations, global warming, and pollutions. So just to see in the, in the backpack, I can put like directly the, the red, I use a red epic and two lenses and the extender and some the, for the microphones. So it's very important because we work like every day between six and eight hours a day just to find the animals, monkeys or gold miners. These people, they destroy everything. So it was very important when we work in the rainforest just to keep the, the camera in my backpack because sometimes it was very dangerous. So the, the total is the package is 12 kilograms, like 27 pounds. And, and the location is Peru and USA. And after when I got some um, conference. So um, you saw the, so I work like in, we travel approximately when we stay like two months in the rainforest. The total we work like for 700 kilometers to a very remote part in Peru. And so Jean-Marc said the, the environment it was very tough and hostile, like humidity and the, the temperature it was very high between the, um, a dust and everything. So it was very, very difficult to shoot. But with the lenses and the, the camera, it was perfectly with environment. I don't have any issues. So it was very important because when you arrive, some people, when you have the gold miners shut down the trees to, to, in order to find the, the gold, you have, the, the, you have to be like to shoot very, very fast because we don't have a lot of time. Because these people, gold, min gold miners and the mafia, they don't like the camera, they don't like the journalistic or director. So the just so good if you, so he's going to, to kill you. So just put the camera on the tripod, the lens, and to shoot and to leave. You don't have to stay a lot. So the, the lenses, you work perfectly. Um, and yes, um, so when we work like six, seven hours per day, when you put the, the lenses in my backpack, when just open, I don't have any issues about uh, condensations. It was perfect. So I can go to put my, the lenses on, into the camera and just to shoot. It was perfect. The, um, and the quality is beautiful. So why I, I prefer to use um, the lenses than the use prompt? Because it was fast, very fast. Sometimes, like when you shoot the monkeys in, in the trees, it was very, very far. So or when you shoot the gold miners, sometimes it was very difficult. So with um, the lenses, I can just to fix and to, to take some frame very easily. And so I shoot like, uh, we wake up every morning at 4 a.m. until like 6 p.m. 
and we never use um, we use always a natural light and so that is it was perfect like for an, another thing um, so that in the um, in the rainforest so you can see the um, you just with um, the camera and the lenses so it's very uh, cool productions it was me like two people one f for take the sound and me and it was easily so you can see the um, the, the quality of the pickle of the monkeys and to make the focus i use uh, with the lcd of the screen So uh, another example, uh, like the monkeys in the trees or the gold miners, just uh, so the gold miners when go there, they sh shut down the trees and they dig to find the gold. So for instance, for these gold miners, it was very, very far. I can go too close because the guy is going to kill me because they don't like the, the camera and the director or journalistic. So you use the, the long lens and with the extender, it was perfect because I can shoot like 150 meters very far. It was perfect to get some beautiful footage. Like the monkeys in the trees, it's, it's the same, it was very, very far. So with the extender, the, the lens, I can use easily the, and to take the frame. Like in the car, it's the same when the, the police came, tried to shut down the, the gold miners. I stay with the, the camera, the lens in, in the car. I can go outside because, unfortunately, um, the police and the, the, the gold miners, they don't like the, the TV or, or production company. They don't want to show this, this problem in the rainforest. So you can see the different uh, frame. Uh, on the right side, it's I use the, um, for the, the white shot and just beneath. I use a long shot, the, the 70, and with the extender. So all this uh, footage I got. Jean-Marc, if you want to give more information about the, 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 the lenses. Uh, well, uh, one thing I think uh, I would like to know is uh, really the advantage of having this uh, short zoom and uh, in, in the rainforest in your production, because I think you were, uh, you know, in very uh, difficult environment. You really were doing a lot of um, just uh, movement, uh, going from uh, one spot to another. How did it, did it help your production? So uh, you say like when you have the, the two lenses and the camera in my backpack, when you move, sometimes you, you see the monkeys in the trees. So you just open the bag, take the camera, put the lenses, to shoot and in the same for the gold miners so it was very very fast we don't have to to set up the the camera and the tripod and like for the gold miners when you shoot them you have to be fast you can stay like f two minutes three minutes because the guy after see you so he can to kill you so it's very very fast like for the monkeys or different animals when you stay in the trees it's not like the actors on the set who you have the time to set up everything but like monkey they, they scare so we see when they see you object they leave so you don't have like two minutes just set up put the camera on the tripod lenses make focus and the, the monkey leaves so you just run 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 everywhere and when it's done you put the, the all the lenses in your pack and you're still working to find the new spot so that it was perfect just to to fix make the focus it was very, very fast, and I don't have any issue about uh, moisture or humidity. It was perfect, and that is very important, because you don't have time when you put the lenses. You have to, to clean the, the lens and everything. It was, it was perfect. So I saved time to, to try to get the, the good footage and, and very sharp as well. And uh, you know, the way you were working, did you use mostly the zoom as a zoom? That means, you know, zooming from wide to tele, or from tele to wide, or more as a prime, like framing and then uh, pressing the run button? Uh, the, the, the song on one. Uh, so when I saw like the, the monkeys in the trees, like very far, um, I don't know, like one, 150 feet. So I, I zoom, a boom, I take the, the footage, I can, too much play with the, the lenses because I don't have a lot of time. So when you see him, up you take the, pic, the footage like 
one minute, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, if you leave because the monkeys leave. So just, I, I don't pay a lot, just take the footage and f the same for the gold miners. When you arrive, you see them, hope you take the footage, and after you leave, you don't have to stay a lot. Uh, it's different on, on, on set where you can stay more and set up and everything. But unfortunately there, you don't have a, you don't have a time just to, for you safely, yeah, your life. Oh, uh, you know, your documentary look uh, very romantic in a way, like a very uh, just wide frame uh, with a lot of uh, forest or a lot of uh, just people looking uh, around and just uh, looking at, uh, you know, the animals. Uh, how do you kind of characterize the quality of the glass, uh, having uh, just this uh, wide shot but uh, with a very sharp image? Uh, was it something that you were looking for when you selected the lenses? Yeah, when um, I, I got this idea to go to Peru to make a, a documentary about um, deforestation and global warming, so m my first step it was okay. I want to get the beautiful footage and very sharp. So when I checked different companies and I was interesting and I know about the history about engineer, even if I'm from France, I said okay, I want to use this lens because for me it's very important to show the, the good quality and very sharp on the bed, the, um, the, the, the footage. And so why I use the, these lenses? And I know uh, it's very um, efficient. So I don't have any issues when you go there. If, oh my God, you have um, some moisture or humidity on the lens. I don't want to, I, don't, I do not want to waste my time with um, this kind of issues. So okay, I want to shoot them. For me, it's, uh, when I go there, it's okay. I want to go to beautiful footage, and I know I, I got many um, festivals. And when you got the DCP on 4K on the big screen, you can see the like the hair for the monkeys and everything is very very sharp. So I was very like this one. Yeah. You want to some to show us some uh, video of uh, what you did because I think it, <laughs> it's important for uh, you know people to uh, watch a little bit of. Uh, uh, of a movie. Perfect. Yes, so much. Thank you. We have the large-scale gold miners which are responsible for destroying huge areas of rainforest, especially with the global price of gold being so high at the moment. Then we have smaller-scale farmers, agriculture. can see the different footage where I use uh, the two lenses so I can see like the, um, the monkeys in the, street, uh, in, the, in, the, in the trees and the gold miners when they dig. Uh, I use every time the extender like to get what, like one, one thirty millimeters. So I was very glad to, to get the extender to get this footage. Otherwise it was very difficult because it was very, far, very, very far. So I didn't want to go too close to them to try to get some footage. Well, one other thing, um, you know, I just want to mention, we uh, 
are introducing a 48 to 130 this year at the NAB. Um, at the time of uh, you know the production, which was uh, 20 months ago when uh, Jerome went down to Peru, we didn't have a long, lightweight uh, zoom on a style uh, line. So he had to use the extender to reach you know just the uh, the one uh, 140 millimeter uh, telephoto. So in able in order to shoot from far away, especially when he was uh, next to the miner, which uh, could be dangerous. So now we have a lens that really can uh, really do more because you can go either to uh, 260 millimeter using the extender. So you can uh, get a very uh, close up uh, just uh, the tight shot uh, with, with that lens. So that lens is at our booth uh, C9039. Uh, but we also have a long uh, studio lens uh, behind at uh, BNH. So if you want to check it, this is a 25 to 250 style. It's a more studio lens. It's a 15 pound lens. Uh, so you can't really travel with it in a backpack, but uh, <laughs> you can do a lot of, <laughs> of things with that lens when you have a tripod and, uh, and you, you want to shoot uh, nature or any kind of documentary uh, where you have access to a road. So I just would like to thank you for thank you. Uh, you know, being part you, of Virginia. that uh, panel. And uh, I think uh, it was a great collaboration. Uh, maybe you want to uh, just tell a little bit more about the success of your documentary. It has been on well, different film festival, a lot of awards. Uh, so um, the Run Fest has been selected for different festivals uh, in US, uh, Canada, Australia, France. Um, so received many awards and today it's uh, discovery uh, about it for uh, they spread like 120 countries and direct tv dish tv in us and like two on amazon voodoo virus and so it's very good to spread and always going more south america and asia in the next months yeah. and uh you know it's a very important topic it's about deforestation it's about glo uh, global warming it's about pollution so uh, you know, I really recommend if you are interested in that uh, to watch it because it's an amazing documentary. Uh, you know, started with a very uh, low profile project, and uh, Jerome did almost everything from, you know, just shooting it, editing it, uh, telling the story, uh, pushing it through the media, and I think he did a great job, and we were very happy to help him. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye, have a great day.